congratulations on the victory, Tony. Tough place to come. Lads uh, went out there and put a good performance in. What pleases you the most after tonight's uh, result? Three points. Absolutely three points. I think coming coming this far, um, having the travel after playing just two two days ago on Sunday, um, any sort of win the night was a, was a must for us. Um, so the three points is, is a huge bonus. Um, so I'm really pleased with that. Yeah. Frustrating uh, ninety minutes for you in terms of the officiating. Uh, it's quite a few decisions went for and against. Um, how, what sort of pleased you the most in terms of how the players reacted? I think we kept our heads long enough. I think. Um, the last five or ten minutes, a few of them started to get a little bit frustrated with, with what was happening. Um, but I think it, it was it's a tough one because we're going to, that's what's going to happen. You know, the, the way that the officials have been pulled this year, we're going to get different officials. Um, listen, he, he didn't he didn't swear one way or the other. Um, he made his own decisions, and I can accept that. Um, whether I agree with the, some of these decisions, that's something different. But I've already spoken to him about it and said that to him. You know, this is not something I'm upset. Um, it's a tough gig being in the middle, not one I'd want to do. Um, I just, like I said, for lads, as long as we just, if we get knocked down and it's not our way, we just get back up, get on with it, and try not to argue. That let us do that in the sidelines, and, and, and I think they did that for most of the game. It did. Is that the message that you taught the players at, at half time? Just go out there, do your own thing, and uh, the, result, the results will come your way. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think um, I don't want to spend all day, all the time like. Um, Talk about officials and stuff because, like I say, I want to talk about the last thing really well. But things aren't going to go our way, and this isn't the only game this season where some decisions might not go away, our way. We've got to find a way to win, and like um, we've, we've travelled for two hours a night, you know. Um, I said two days after a game on Sunday, which was a tough game, it wasn't an easy game, um, and they've performed really well um, against what I thought was a, a strong, a strong side that they've, that they've picked in front of today. I think they played quite well against us. So I'm really pleased with the way we've performed it. Um, the, the team didn't just come away with three points, came with a clean sheet as well. Um, they dug in, like you said, Pickering did create problems going going forward, did put pressure on the defence. What's impressed you in terms of the way that you, your team defended and was resilient at the back? Yeah, massive, like loads. Like Again, like it's that easy to, to just leave it up to somebody else to do. Um, but our lads don't seem to do that. And they're definitely not doing that at the moment. They, um, we've talked about social open before and leaving it up to people, someone else to do that little extra 10 yard run, you know, and we, we don't do that. We, we, we do them runs and um, we make sure we try and get back and defend in our numbers and in a good shape. Um, and again, like tonight, that, that's what we're trying to press for done that. Let's not forget, like, our back four tonight was really old, you know. I think Kieran was old, and I think he's only 24 or something. Um, you've got George, who's like just a Ben. Um, Dom was only 88. Tom was just a Ben. That's a, young, that's a young back line there, you know, so that they, and they're going to learn, learn lots from the lads that they played against who were big physical lads and they held the ball up well and made it difficult for them. So um, it's it's massively pleasing that being so young they've learned so much tonight. And, um, but I say three points is the most tonight. And really, really